Character had the oh, it was a Rochi, the Legion colors, the green, the Iron Legion. Fucking green Legion. Let's see what we got on YouTube. I can't play any copyrighted music because I'll get fucking banned. What is this? Dude, this has to be a fucking meme. There's no way these are real. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Actually, We're back on For Honor again. And today I want to I talk about one thing I teased a little bit at the end of the previous video, which of course, if you haven't seen the previous video, that talks about all 100 tiers in the battle pass if you haven't seen it. For Honor again. And today I want to talk about one thing I teased a little bit at the end of the previous video, which of course, if you haven't seen the previous video, that talks about all 100 tiers in the battle pass if you haven't seen it yet. So, there's a lot of cool, interesting stuff in there, and there's actually a huge increase in steel and salvage compared from last season to this season. So, definitely go check that video out when you get the chance, especially after this one. But I teased that there was two new emotes that are currently in the game at the moment, and then two new executions that are actually in a trailer that they haven't mentioned yet. So we're going to be going over those four things, or technically six, but we'll, we'll, I'll get into it in the video. But either way, like the be if you do enjoy, subscribe if you're new. I come from the informational side of Warner, that being the balance change of the year of these, the patching to the leaks. If you're going to be kept with everything happening Warner, and then we'll just have an update that we'll really subscribe to the channel. With that, let's get started now this video. Right. So yeah, today's going to be a bit shorter video, but like I said, the first ones are the emotes, and currently they're in the game right now, they're available for all heroes. I believe they are both free roam, roam emotes, or if they're not, I think one is free roam, one is combat. I didn't bother checking, but they are called the Dubious Assessments, and then one of the Shrugs, which you're seeing on screen now. Both of those emotes are available currently right now as I'm making this video. They've released with the year 4 Season 2 you know, release patch, so those were already there. They didn't explain these in the dev stream, so I was a little bit confused when I saw these, but yeah, they are currently in the game right now if you want to grab those. Other than that, we have the teases for only two, but I'm convinced there's two more that they haven't shown yet. As right here in the beginning Round of one. the trailer, you can see Warden beating up a guy with the loot. That is most definitely an execution and something we haven't seen in. Oh, 
victory! Your Round people are three. defeated. Give up! Most likely in line with the music emotes we got in the Honor Games, and since Metal Trials isn't four. exactly the Honor Games, but it's kind of like it. I already have that color taken, so fuck me. Does this count as a deathmatch? I mean, I would think it is. Alright, let's, let's... Let's investigate. Um, I want the chest, at least, so I can make the judgments. Arms... crowd and the camaraderie and the celebration of the honor games those emotes would obviously want to be remade with a little bit extra flavor but that's not the only thing they teased as we see here we see tiandi beating up a conch with the horn i believe there is probably ones for the other two instruments as well but of course they don't want to show everything i believe there is probably ones for the other two instruments as well but of course they don't want to show everything to us right away so i have this weird hypothesis that maybe in every single season in year four we're gonna get one event regarding the honor game celebration with stuff related to music and like the form of emotes and executions although it probably would get pretty stale after a while so i think in season three they'd be adding new instruments and in season four making executions out of those new instruments but that's just what i think 
Either way, these are definitely two new emotes that are already in the game now and two new executions, possibly four new executions that are coming to the game at some point in time with the new items and the new instruments. I'm super excited. Like I said, we only know about two. Maybe there's four. Maybe they only made two. Maybe they're showing us everything now. I hope not because I'd really like to see somebody get the shit beat out on the flu, but that's just me. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about these musical beat-em-up instrument executions. Super excited to grab those. Definitely going to grab the horn one as it's definitely some super big BM. But either way, I'd like to be able to enjoy guys. Just got the material. I covered the information on side of one of the video balance soon to hear the things that happen. Weeks. And we're going to get through today with everything happening out there with the water and everything that's out there with the other videos. Subscribe to the channel. With that, take care, guys. Peace out and enjoy the music. Alright, let's go. First scent match. First ever scent match. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, he's waiting for the parries. Oh, damn. That's a half problem.
Don't stop moving. Stop moving. being a disadvantaged little fucking hammer man. Cool. Something I didn't ask for. Fucking badass, I think. I'll keep it, just for the sake of it being a fucking event thing. But it is kind of a little annoying. Getting the same thing. Over and over. Over again. Bah! Fuck. Oh shit, yeah, copyright. Oh my god, it feels weird. I, I don't know what to do. Nah. Knock on the ground. Oh, beautiful. Ah, he was waiting for that parry. I'm waiting for that too. Let's go, baby. First round is mine. First round is mine. Let's go. Ooh, shit. I like that fully charge. I like it. I like it, man. Ah, right, come here. Ooh, I, I see the time press. to dodge is really better. Ooh, okay, I like it. Like, you need to dodge it perfectly. Perfect timing, like the fucking Nothing single Nothing is hidden you. from me. Nothing I hate to me. Oh. Oh. oh, the fully charged. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. that I would have knocked him to the ground. If you, if you, if you did a light, you'd be probably fine. Round one. Oh, he didn't. He could have zoned. Oh, I'm lagging again. Hey!
I would go on Twitter because I think it's uh, mine is bugged. It won't fucking load. Like it, I obviously have internet, but it just won't load. Like I'll retry and it still doesn't work. It's like, it might be like IP ban, maybe. I don't know. But then again, I can still access my account. I just can't like see the feed or my feed. Like it's completely gone. I can check on mobile. You know. I'll just, check it. I'll just check it out for a while. It's fine. I'll probably just look at this.
Oh yeah. Um, okay, so he just made a new account with a new profile picture name. But anyways, do not trust this fucker. See, like, saying good vid or want to be friends, that's fucking bait. Don't fall on that bait. It will literally fuck you over. Like, I heard of, like, something that was kept, like, <clears throat> packing and stuff like that. I don't know. Just be safe. Well, I'm asking. Obviously. too much of my Twitter. It's more of like a yeah. website. Oh, no! 
Alright, well, it looks like I'm looking at that. Second extinction gameplay. Gameplay. Let's start this party. Okay. Well, bad news, everybody. Mutant dino. Well, bad news, everybody. Mutant dinosaurs have overtaken the. Okay. Yeah. Cringy immersion takes. Sick. Get more of that action onto the screen for players. Now I had to get that out of the way. Everyone always wants to talk about next gen and you know this this time of the the console generation. But let's let's talk about the game. This is this is a game where mutant dinosaurs have taken over the earth and humans have to sort of fight to survive. Uh, can you give us a little sort of rundown of uh, how humanity wound up in this horrible situation? Oh Lord. Well, when we join the story. Uh, we don't really know exactly what happened. Um, time has moved on since the actual extinction event occurred, and some of humanity has escaped to the stars. Uh, it really came out of nowhere. These dinosaurs erupted out of the ground. It looked like they'd been burrowing, and uh, it was a pretty short battle. They overwhelmed humanity. And that's where we join the story now, is humans are starting to get together, and they want to come back to Earth uh, from their orbital uh, space platform and find out, you know, who are these enemies? What do they do? Are there other survivors out there? And as we sort of move through the game, because it's going to be a, a live product, um, as we sort of grow it, uh, we're going to be adding to that story and revealing more about the dinosaurs, how they came to be, because uh, it's a pretty unreal concept, obviously. Okay. I'm, I'm very into it. It's it's an unreal concept, but it's one that I, I think most people can get on board with. Uh, we've got some of the sort of these look kind of like velociraptors. We had some of them that were hurling uh, some sort of acid. There were ones with what looked like kind of invisibility camouflage. Uh, can you speak a little bit about the sort of different enemy variety we're going to see? For sure. I mean, uh, we have this idea of sort of base types of enemies and uh, they're different species. And then there's sort of mutations that come upon that. So our base raptor here, um, we wanted him to be recognizably a raptor. As you get close to them, you sort of see there's something off about them. You know, the eyes aren't quite right, there's too many teeth. So that, that's the kind of like your, your basic mutant, and they're a kind of horde type enemy. Uh, but then there's other sort of spin offs of the raptors uh, you mentioned, yeah, like the electric raptor, which uh, I guess we, <laughs> it, we, we took a very loose science approach. Uh, they're not fantasy, they're not magical. Um, so we were looking at kind of crazy things in the animal kingdom um, and I, yeah okay there's kind of animals that can do camouflage, there's animals that can deliver electric shocks and we use those as jumping off points uh, to make our mutants okay. and then we do have bigger dinosaurs as well kind of acting as our like specials uh, and um, yeah we've got a T-Rex, I mean we have to have a T-Rex in this kind of game but obviously bigger and badder than your traditional T-Rex that you would see on screen. Now you're taking some liberties with the sort of the, the, the science side of things, which is completely okay because video games are supposed to be fun. Uh, is there any chance we're going to see, you know, traditionally more, uh, you know, more gentle uh, herbivore dinosaurs reimagined as uh, as killing machines that we get to take on, or is? <sighs> full of lead. No, uh, it's all types of dinosaurs. Uh... Alright, so I'm expecting to see some dinosaurs they have put on. Like, no meal yet. I don't want to... I hope so, but... Oh, <laughs> 
building up that roster of enemies as time goes on. Once we launch the game, uh, we've got some really cool plans. Uh, <laughs> oh, alright, so there's going to be like different back groups of dinosaurs. Alright. Over! Again, let's go! There's going to be like... There's a lot of life of the game. Again, let's go! That's kind of nice to do. So the death match does not count. That sucks. It does. We see dinosaurs as a starting point. They're pretty awesome as it is, and then you're mutating them, uh, and you can go pretty wild. And we have had to sort of rein ourselves back in and go, wow, well, you know, for later we can go that. That's going too far straight away. <laughs> uh, there's a lot we can do with it, and. I have to say these are evil mutant dinosaurs, right? You say even the herbivores are mean. I mean, that was a challenge. Like, how do you make them not cute? How do you make them look really nasty? And uh, yeah, the art team have done, I mean, and the animation team, I should say, have done an incredible job God, of nasty. going, taking something, you know, we all know and love and think, oh, they're so cute, Some of them can. to make you think, no, that's not cute. That's really not nice. Moose I don't want to come deer. against that. Yeah, so herbivores and uh, carnivores, they're all dangerous in Second Extinction. Yeah, they can be fucking... I love it. I would love to continue talking about the dinosaurs, but we should probably also address the humans. Um, is this is this class-based? Is everyone kind of kidding out their own character with, you know, different loadouts? Uh, can you speak a bit about, about how that comes together? Sure. Um, so we've got, uh, at the start of the game, we've got these four heroes, and they are an international cast sort of from around the world. We wanted to get across that this was an international conflict. The whole world has gone down. Uh, so we have these different characters. Um, now they sit within different classes. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be better if it's like someone that's kind of relatable, like saying, I don't know, the group is Egyptian, right? Would it, would it be better if we just have all of them as Egyptian instead of just like 
maybe two or one. Because, like, usually Clump Race and they kind of understand each other a little bit more. I mean, I get the, uh, like, idea of, like, okay, uh, they're understanding each other's, like, different cultures and all that. But, like, wouldn't it be, like, make more sense if each group are their own nationalities, I guess? Because I, I, I wouldn't function really good if I was on a team with, say, Japanese Round people and American. You know, that makes sense. I like to, it's a little easier for me to kind of be able to communicate with people more, more like me.
going to get my fucking shit? Dude, I'm getting scammed. Oh yeah, so when do I get the weapons? I just realized I'm not getting weapons. Is that like second quarter of this uh, event? Uh, but each character has their own unique abilities as well. So there's sort of class aspects of certain weapons that they can use, yeah, class abilities. But then each character it will bring its own um, special ability to the fight. And uh, those classes, you know, are, are pretty standard fare in regard of there's a support class, there's a kind of generalist weapons class, and then there's a heavy uh, type of class as well. Um, but where the real fun is, is obviously yeah, the abilities. That's where we get to layer on something very special into the characters. Uh, and also tell a bit more about their character, because uh, there's not a lot of storytelling as in traditional sense, cutscenes, that kind of thing. So we wanted to get across what these people are like in the abilities that they do uh, and the kind of VO lines that they trigger as well. Um, now, you do get to load out the characters as well. So it's not all preset. So you get to choose the weapons, uh, the, um, the, the kit that you take in, which is, includes grenades, uh, but also payloads. Because you're up in space, a lot of stuff actually comes down. You'll see that in the video here. Things being shot up into space and things being sent back down again. And the payloads can be anything from a resupply uh, to a massive airstrike. Uh, so you as your team, you want to choose what's the stuff that we bring in to the game uh, to have a nice spread so you can sort of work together, uh, cooperate to deal with the dinosaur threat. And, now, can we speak uh, a little bit about the... Uh, of, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. You were, you were telling us. Uh, I was just going to say there's an element of upgrading the weapons in the game as well. So each each weapon uh, has its own upgrade tree, and that's something you can un sort of unlock as you go on and you research. And then those upgrades allow you to either specialize your weapon or make it more general. Um, we've aimed at making, rather than adding power constantly, we're trying to go for breadth. Uh, but it, it's anything from sort of more exotic things like fire ammunition uh, to a buff to reloading. And we let players sort of reconfigure the weapon. Once they've unlocked the things, they can change and adapt the weapons and try different things out for different types of missions. Right on. Can you speak a little bit about sort of the mission structure? We saw this open up with kind of a, you know, a, a dropship type of thing, and then everyone's sort of, you know, running around, looks like gathering a lot of resources. Um, can you have to talk a bit about sort of the different objectives we'll have in the game? For sure. So uh, the host of the game, uh, they uh, pick where they're going to come in on the map. Uh, so the map has these different regions, oh, and there's actually...
The, the big boy objective. Is that? No. Bruh, dude, this game is fucking me. No, I'm not having a great time. I am no longer happy. sense to have on gladiator just because it's like we, uh, night. a dynamic element of that uh that we're going to talk about in uh, the future but they have these kind of insertion points that sometimes are active sometimes they aren't and they can see where the mission is so they choose where are we going to enter the mission they might want to do some optional activities on the way or they might want to get straight into the heart of the mission so get cyber cracking cyber. try and get through it quickly okay. uh, so they don't run out of supplies uh, once they've chosen that, you get the uh, quite cool insertion sequence, down you go, and then uh, depending on the area you've landed in, it might be an area that has supplies, great, you can top up what you've got, or it actually might be straight into the combat and you've got dinosaurs coming at you immediately, uh, which can be quite overwhelming, obviously. You then uh, have your mission, uh, often objectives that you can take out in uh, different orders, um, the order that you ch choose to do it in, and there are I kind of hope the Rex has like some sort of like um, insta kill attack, like a bite or something. This is one it makes sense, and two, it just adds a little more difficulty to fighting that kind of guy, you know? So it's like. There is these optional activities that spawn around the map as well, so players can pick to do those um, if they want to. Now, once they've finished what's been asked of them uh, for the mission, then they have to extract. And here is a, a sort of a one-off situation that happens every mission you play. You have to get back out. So you go to one of these extraction points. You call in the dropship, and depending on uh, how bad the area is, uh, the sort of threat level of that area, uh, it depends on how long the dropship's going to take to get to you. And you have to fight off the enemies for as long as possible until the dropship arrives. You can get on board and get back with all your loot and surviving. 
Nice. Uh, can you speak a little bit about the scale of the map? Because this is, I mean, it's it, it, it looks huge. Is it the kind of thing where that mount... Oh, nice now.
and over there we could actually go all the way over there yes so obviously the heritage uh avalon studios um, um uh, is Finally, all about these open world games right, and we're not actually talking about this as an open world game uh we're talking about this as a, a big map game um because we have um units you know on their feet moving around there's no vehicles in the game uh, apart from the dropship and we found that actually the best sort of play experience was for a more compressed map i mean it's still pretty big uh and you can go anywhere you like as you would expect from this kind of game but it's not the the, the enormousness of other open world games out there so yeah we like to call it a big map game instead oh more i like that that's armor. that's fair um can you speak a little bit about how, when people will get their hands on it do you have a release window planned uh any plans for a, a beta or anything like that for sure, yeah. Um, well, we're not announcing uh, the release just now, uh, but it's going to be announced very soon. There is going to be a beta. Um, you can actually sign up to that now on the website, uh, which is secondextinctiongame.com, and there's a war support, uh, slash war support. You can go there. And uh, there's a cool little referral scheme, so if you get your friends to sign up, you can get some exclusive kits uh, for your characters, uh, exclusive skins, that kind of thing. And yeah, we, we really want to start engaging with the community now, get a lot of people into the beta, get their feedback, and and sort of grow, grow it together with them as time goes on. Nice. Well, shooting mutant dinosaurs in the face is fun, but it's even more fun with friends. Thank you for talking to me about the dinosaurs. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Second Extinction later this year. I will, well, I mean, I already got it. I gotta ask my friend to kind of uh, sign up through my link. It worked, so all I have to do is wait for the, the beta. And now I will do videos on it. So. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Like, it, it really doesn't. Like, I actually liked this the ha this hair originally, to be honest. But after over time, it's kind of like, kind of feel a little bland. And this is literally just a reskin. Uh, and just like, changes to like tattoo looks. So, how you may. She's still hot though, so, it's fine. Um, Oh yeah, so the, oh yeah, there's that. So from what I see, you don't get the weapons just yet for the Polyon event. So I'm not too sure how you get it. Maybe it's like you wait until next, uh, next phase, if you will. I actually like that one a lot more. I still need to get the um, Yormagander one. I should probably do the, the Wulin after Yorm. I like JJ's. What? Oh yeah, it's neutral. Yeah, I don't want to use that one. Um, what's this guy's neutral? I think it was like a pretty bad looking one. I don't mind getting rid of that one or something else. Let me look at the others though. 
Um, what's this one? I could probably be okay with getting this one away. You know what? Let's go and I think I have it already unlocked. Ooh, the honor games. I don't think I had that one actually equipped on anything. Turn. War, thin ice, blood ice, black ice. Alright, well, we have armors. That's what we have. So, I think that's just, this one is just a, uh, that one main character in that game, in the campaign, I forgot his name, just his helmet, I think that's what that is. You know, I kind of want to grind for sense right now, I, I really want to see his, uh, his new uh, armors. I like it. I like the look. I just don't like the face. I want the one with the beard. That's cool looking too, actually. Fuck it. 